Here are a list of conversions that we recommend you know and memorize for the T7. What we will also see here is a visual representation for each of these conversions. Five milliliters equals one teaspoon. That is not a lot of liquid, is it? One liter equals 1,000 milliliters. And to visualize a liter, imagine taking a two liter bottle of soda, cutting it in half. That is one liter, which is 1,000 milliliters. One gram is 1,000 milligrams. And this is what I would call a horse peel, but one gram, that's a very large peel, that is 1,000 milligrams. One kilogram equals 1,000 grams, and one kilogram is also approximately 2.2 pounds. Imagine going to Starbucks. That 16 ounce cup of coffee, that's one pound. Imagine you were double fisting. Two of those would be two pounds, and a little bit more than that would be a kilogram. One kilogram is 2.2 pounds. 12 inches equals one foot. Traditional ruler, 12 inches, that's one foot. Three of those feet give you one yard. And if you do a little bit of math there, how can we relate inches to yards? 36 inches will give you one yard. Now something to note, if you are given a conversion in your problem, you would definitely want to use that instead. A quick example, 4.93 milliliters is actually a little bit closer to one teaspoon, which is pretty much five milliliters. The five milliliters equals one teaspoon, that is what is used in the nursing field, but technically it's around 4.93 milliliters is equal to one teaspoon. So if you're ever given a conversion in your problem, make sure to use that instead to ensure that you get the correct answer, especially when rounding to a certain decimal place value. While this list is not exhaustive, these are the most common conversions that we recommend you memorize for the T7. For more information, visit nurses.archerreview.com T7, check out our free QBank, our on-demand videos, and our tutoring options, all available to help you pass the T7.